This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. It's election day. Hamlin County election workers say the turnout will be right around 15%. That sounds low, but they say that's pretty high for a May primary. You can find results on our website, WCPO.com. Hamilton Township Police say a man shot and killed by officers actually pointed a gun at them first, and the family is agreeing with them. In a news conference today, officers released new details on the death of 57-year-old Anthony Williams. Police say Williams fired shots inside his home on Adams Road, threatened to harm himself, and refused to leave. Once law enforcement was on the scene, officers say Williams emerged from the house and pointed his handgun in their direction. Two officer, officers had his fired shots at Williams, who later died of his injuries. I've been the chief here for five years, and this department was founded in the early 90s, and this is the first time uh, we have ever had an incident of this magnitude occur where our officers uh, return fire. The officers involved have been identified as Sergeant Chris Wall and Officer Josh Clift. Neither were hurt. Per protocol, they're on administrative leave while the investigation continues. Chief Hughes says Williams' family released a statement saying they understand the actions of the officers had to take. A Banks nightclub has settled with a lawsuit with the city. Gala Park reached a deal late last week, and as part of that deal, it will rebrand from a club to a gastropub style restaurant. Gala Park's taking out its dance floor, and more security will be added. The city wanted to declare it a public nuisance after repeated incidents of fights in and outside of the bar. Let's get a check of the forecast. Here is Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. Hi, Steve. Yeah, hi, Tanya. As we look at things, we'll continue with this scattered rain, heavy at times, and we could see a couple of storms. There's a marginal risk of severe weather, but we're likely going to be fine. 49 to 62 for tomorrow. There'll be a chance of showers early, but we'll see clearing as we head through our Wednesday. My nine-day forecast then, just 62 for tomorrow, and it stays cooler than average this week. We stay in the middle 60s with a couple of slight chances for showers. It does look Look like as we head to Saturday night and Sunday, we're going to have a pretty good shot to see some rain. And unfortunately, that would mean a wet Mother's Day. We'll stay on top of it for you.